Okay guys, hello and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. It's finally here and we finally get to start the story of Erroneous Malfoy. So let's jump in and let's see what this game has to offer. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Suspicious. Super excited for this game, guys. Been waiting for this ages. I've tried to avoid as many spoilers as I can. But I know there's some content out there on YouTube already, but I wanted to experience it for myself and have some fun filling one of the Malfoy family line. I know this is uh, about a hundred years before the movies. So let's see if we can have some fun with it and uh, get up to some mischief. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. By 
Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you... Wait! We did Rust. Intense. Intense. That's a good start for the story, though. That is a good start. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan Weld. Delicious. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Well, graphically, it's uh, it's impressive so far, I must say. The game automatically uh, sets your settings. Obviously, I'm running a 3080 um, and an i5, and it's set everything to ultra, so... I'm not sure if I'll have to change anything I'm just yet. We'll see how it plays. Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins... You the port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path However faded it may be. Mind your step. It's about time that we had a game in this universe, you know, Where a triple A AAA title. Your wife got the port key that brought Amazing. Us a good question. I hope it lives Miriam up to it. Spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. So far it feels polished. It feels like they've put a lot of effort. There's a lot of detail. Very impressive Ancient so magic. far. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. How little do they know the Malfoy's intentions? We'll see. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I don't know what frame rate I'm getting, but it feels very so, smooth. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. 
What really matters is the one who wields it. Indeed. What's is that this? ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. A basic cast. Tap RT, okay. I didn't do much. Excellent! Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative target. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to have a little bit of combat here in a second. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Yeah, graphically, it's beautiful, really. It's really impressive so far. As I say, I've avoided a lot of spoilers and watching uh, gameplay of the game, but I've seen snippets and clips here and there, but it never really, um, never really uh, ah, hits home until you sort of there. play it yourself, because uh, you know YouTube compression, etc. And it looks very good. We're close now. It's just ahead. Everybody's Get seen yourself. this part, right, where he makes the bridge. Repero! That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I like it. Very well done. Almost there! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. The lighting's really cool too. I think ray tracing and everything is turned on. The only map shows your surroundings with in the middle uh, is your current objective. Press and hold to toggle quest objective details. Okay, press and hold. Path to Hogwarts. Professor Fig and I have travelled via Portkey to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the Portkey was meant to lead us to. Does that close it again? Okay, it does. So there's a rather interesting statue. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. There's, there's a book, but that's not a real book by the looks of it, okay. Okay, so it's pointing me to, uh, round the back here. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Shall I just, uh... Oh, he's coming. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Gringotts, no? Is it Gringotts? 
or somewhere in Gringotts. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Indeed. What secrets does it contain? The doors are always really cool. Vault 12. Thank you for your help.
And the key was to the vault. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Guide it along the symbols path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when the, when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbols path. Oh, okay. So press A. A. Oh, I see. You have to speed it up a bit. Well, that's interesting. At least it's, uh, you know, a little bit of a challenge. Cast Revelio. Revelio. Okay. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. The door or something, there. No? A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Why well, can't I Lumos? I want a Lumos. very cool though guys like you know the start of this game so far is just really draws you into the wizarding world doesn't it i'm liking this so far head. what is it that glow again but on the floor towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which is automatically being slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay. So hold RT and tap Y to cast or extinguish Lumos. Okay. RT and Lumos. Y. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Um, I 
I'm just bite marching. Tell them. Stay close! Lumos. Is he where's he gone? Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? Where's the fig? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to Why go? Why do these sparks go in this direction? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Back to the fig. Ah, that's where they're leading me. I glow again. Lumos. Don't tell me. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. That's never good, is it? I mean, I've got to fight more of them this time. Oh, and... oh I see. It's down this way. I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. During, oh sorry, hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay, so hold Y when they attack to stupefy. targeting right now but maybe we'll change that later but the game's playing great it's playing really really oh, i need lumos. my 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 lumos we can sprint too i really like the lumos effect as well it looks really good An intriguing door. Where dost thou lead? I have no idea, but full room. What's this? It's a little vial of some sort now. I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Is in 
place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Wow, like as a start to a game and a Harry Potter game, very good. Very, very good so far. 
and the graphical details are, are brilliant. Really, really good. I'm glad I avoided looking at reviews, but, you know, I'm pretty sure this is getting some good reviews. Well, I'm not sure now if uh, Erroneous is going to be a nasty, mischievous wizard or if he's going to be a good guy. I mean, the Malfoys could have had a good guy in the family line, right? But we'll see. We will see. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now... I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Hmm. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh. Hmm. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyal, ambition. I'm going to say ambition. It is ambition. I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Yes. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Yes. Indeed. The sorting hat will take your choice into account when it's... 
Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. Except, yes, we do. We want the Malfoy in you the Slytherin. In Slytherin. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay. 44 minutes in and we have made it to the common room. So, well, not the common room, but the dorms. And I must say, it looks very, very good. Let's have a little spy about what can we do. Can we interact with anything? Lots of detail. Uh, something here. Some random fruit. Did that do anything for us or just uh, gimmicky interaction? Anyway, let's uh, carry on. It wants us to go to the common room. kind of want to explore what's around is this just other dorm rooms and I can go in them as well interesting so that's a good indication to the level of detail right because they could have just put doors that were other dorm rooms that you couldn't use but they have fully fleshed it out does the mirror work kind of yeah Anyway, let's carry on and begin our adventure around Hogwarts causing mischief. I some introductions are in order. Well, are they? I can't argue with that. You fifth year. I haven't Must slept be in very days. different Martin starting Hogwarts like in your drawer. fifth year. As long as I get some sleep, I don't mind what anyone gets up to. I think it's interesting that the voices 
are very similar to the film's certain characters. Okay, you use your wand to spin that. Okay, great. Right, let's see who we have to speak to then. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Check out my mono oh, brow. I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Right, okay. Big Ed. I wish you'd been there. We had it handled. Yeah, we had it we handled. handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Do you, can we play you wizard a chess? Wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Hmm. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. I wish there was a bit more, um... I don't know, maybe there is, but... The dialogue options, you know? They're a bit, uh... Middle of the road. Ominous Gaunt. Well, oh, that's the name if ever I heard one. I... I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. You are Ominous. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well... If I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. What's the matter of his neck? Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. He's got a crooked neck and cloudy eyes. I don't trust him. Who's next? There is something to do with these... You can do something at the windows, can't you? Hmm. Who's that this chap? Helpful. Sebastian Sallow. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience, nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you, too. Good luck today. Sure thing. In here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. All right. The people I feel sorry for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't want to sprint like a flaming lunatic. Wow, well, what just a set of stairs, isn't it? There she is. Good morning. 
I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Indeed. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Alright. Can't I do this quickly? No, I can't do anything yet. There's I also... certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when Owl's I was chest. a student. Okay. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The walk speed is... Kind of ridiculous, but you're like forced to walk the in these in these scenes, right? To practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Aha. Uh -huh. Kelpie statue. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long, a long moan, long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness monster in Scotland. Interesting. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay. Build guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay. I am... Um, oh, pressing the wrong button. This is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges. Uh, earned from challenges increases... Okay. Your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenges progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Okay. Collect field guard pages in Hogwarts. So rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Will do. Professor Weasley. Oh look, there's me door. Wonder what else is uh, animated in the castle. There's got to be so much. That's a fast travel, ah, I believe. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames yeah. to get around a bit quicker. 
Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You've discovered Flu Flames Fast Travel Point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered Flu Flames. Open the map. Wow, that's a cool map too. Hogwarts is divided, divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. Ah, uh, that is the Grand Staircase. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Okay then. And how do I... I'm um, um, I'm confused. Select the library annex region. Okay, that took a while. Professor Weezy says she has more to show me. I'll follow her to find out what she has in mind. So the library annex is... Where exactly? Why is it? That's, that's confusing. Sliver and common room. Is that where I am now? The library annex? Lower grand staircase. Select the library annex region. That's over there. Okay. Press so easy to unlock the central hall flu flames for you. Use R to rotate the map and find the fast travel to the central hall flu flames with X. Okay, so that's this one. Central hall, travel. Wonder what the load times are like. Possibly, no. Target lock is fixed. And yeah, here fine. we are. That's not bad. Quite not bad. the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. Can I unlock this you can one? Get almost anywhere in the castle quickly I did. From Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Indeed. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What exactly is Defense Against Dark Arts? What is Hogsmeade? I don't think I need Thank you, to... Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. I have to keep I'm storm. sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Indeed. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. 
And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Indeed, but you and half chat on. Right. Do we need to talk to Fig now, or can we just do... Is that just because he's... No, it is the next. Okay, sure. Let's Good do it. Good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Open map. This symbol represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Okay. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay. So we have two quests available. Charms class or defense against the dark arts. Well, blatantly, we're going to do dark arts, right? So we're going to do that. I think we're what are we at now. We're the over an hour. Enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. So yeah, as I was saying, um, we are going to do our first class, which is going to be Defense Against the Dark Arts. And I think we'll end this episode there, um, because we are over an hour now. So we'll end that episode there, and then we'll carry on. How do I... I don't have the, the Accio yet, do I? So, okay, let's go out through the doors. Let's find the Dark Arts. Oh, so there's a slight load when you come to the door. That's quite cool. First little courtyard area. Right. Let's see if we can find our way through this absolute maze, which I'm not sure that we can. Through here, okay. Oh, I found the flu flame. Where was it? I see. Okay, through here. Let's head off to Dark Arts. There's another flu. What That's good. Now? Are you a troublemaker? Why have you all gone quiet? 
Anyway. Begin. Got. Yeah. Oh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Steady or want? Okay, so we've got to learn the spell. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I completely missed it. Sorry about that. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Indeed. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped Levioso. you. Levioso! Now, the basic cast. Well done. Skills. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. So I can't use any uh, unfairness. Levioso. <laughs> this should be easy. Protego. Protego. Complicates things. <laughs> I know. <laughs> lucky. Wallet. Nothing lucky about it. Huh. Not bad for a beginner. Huh. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Such smugness. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Ah. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, well, that was a short and sweet class. So anyway, guys, 
Uh, really enjoying the game so far. It seems really quite polished. The graphics are great. It's playing well. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely surprised me with uh, the detail and the quality so far. Anyway, guys, this has been the first episode. We're about an hour and 11 minutes now, something like that. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, then hit the dislike button. And please subscribe if you would like to follow along with this series. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.